do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we will be discussing about pascal's law and we will understand how the pascal's law is applied so let us start with pascal's law pascal talks about the pressure that is exerted when in a confined fluid if you take a confined fluid and you apply pressure at any point then how the pressure is transmitted to different points of the fluid so pascal says that if you take a confined fluid if you take a fluid and you keep it inside an enclosure any enclosure and you apply a pressure at any point in this container that pressure is transmitted undiminished to each and every point of the liquid and to the walls of the container the pressure is transmitted undiminished so that is known as pascal's law that means the pressure you are applying is the pressure that is developed at any point you can think of so that is pascal's law so let us write the statement and then understand So this is Pascal's law. What is that? It says that if pressure is applied to uh, any part of an enclosed fluid at rest, you take care. Let us consider this is an enclosed fluid, and the fluid is kept inside. Okay. This is the container which holds this fluid. now if pressure is applied at any point on this container suppose i apply pressure here that is p then the law states that this pressure that is applied at this point is transmitted to every point on this liquid that means if i think of a point here this point of the fluid that means this fluid molecule also will experience a pressure p if i consider any other points as suppose here then also it will experience a pressure p if i consider any point on the wall of the container this point on the wall will also contain or will also experience a pressure p that means this pressure applied here is transmitted to each and every point on the bulk of the liquid and to the walls of the container this is pascal's law whatever pressure you are applying here is developed at each and every point whether the point is inside the fluid or on the walls of the container the wall which uh, holds the liquid but the only condition is that so uh, it says that the pressure is uh, transmitted uh, that pressure is transmitted so it propagates transmitted undiminished undiminished means uh, without any loss means the magnitude of the pressure that i am applying here is same here also suppose i am applying 10 newton per meter square pressure here and here the pressure is also 10 newton per meter square the magnitude will remain same here also it will be 10 here also it will be 10 here also it will be 10 this is the meaning of undiminished means it without any loss in the magnitude of the pressure and you know that pressure is a scalar quantity so you don't have to think of the direction 
to each and every point on the bulk of the liquid and to the wall to the container so the wall also will feel the same pressure whatever pressure that is applying if i increase the pressure suppose from 10 to 20 these are all the points will experience the pressure of 20 newton per meter square or 20 pascal and also to the any point on the world this is the meaning of the pascal's law so the pascal's law basically talks about the uh, how this pressure is uh, transmitted uh, to any point on the fluid and to the walls of the container provided this uh, pressure is undiminished in means it is same in magnitude provided there is one condition that the fluid must be at rest so when pressure is applied to any part of the enclosed fluid at rest this will be the case so this is known as pascal's law so if you apply uh, to know what is the pressure here if i connect uh, any device which can measure pressure here i can connect any pressure uh, measuring device here then all this device will show me the pressure equal to the pressure that I'm applying here. So if I connect a device uh, which will measure the pressure, then that uh, reading in this uh, device will be same as the applied pressure. That means here, if I apply 10 newton per meter square, here also it will be 10 newton per meter square. Here also it is 10 newton per meter square. Here also it is 10 newton per meter square. The same pressure is developed. This is known as Pascal's law. Okay. Thank you.